In this tutorial, we are going to show you how to create a Google Sheet-based store and a simple yet powerful free-of-charge CRM based on Trello. And finally, the way to automate your business processes via Integromat. Here's how it works. Let's assume you already have a website based on Spread Simple and Google Sheets. A user adds products to the shopping cart and then makes a purchase by sending the form. A Trello cart is created containing the order data. This data includes client information, cart content and other kinds of information if necessary. You manage orders by dragging the order cart through the pipeline, adding comments, changing due dates, assigning a manager and much more. All of that can be done using SpreadSimple's new feature, webhooks, which can be found in checkout tab. But first, what is a webhook? Put simply, as soon as something happens, the webhook immediately notifies other applications transferring the data about the event, so basically webhooks provide automatic real-time communication between apps and it's all done quickly and almost effortlessly. All you need to do is set them up. Sounds difficult? Don't worry, we'll show you the way later in the video. And now let's start with creating your store on Spread Simple. Spread Simple is a web application that offers a blazing fast and simple way to create websites and manage them just using the data in a Google Sheet. Right now we are going to build a website. First we log in, click Add, and now we are going to pick one of the templates. For this case we choose the Furniture Store template. We wait for a few seconds and... Voila! Our website is ready. There are various options for customization, but we won't focus on them. Instead, we are going to add the Buy button that is available in Pro subscription. So we upgrade our website to Pro. On the Content tab, we click on Add a button and choose Order Form. Now we can see the button that allows our customers to make orders right on the website. And we can manage our content in our source Google Sheet, since all the changes we make there will be immediately reflected on our website. Let's take our furniture store website built on Spread Simple to see how it all works. Our task now is to ensure that customers' orders get right into our CRM, which we are going to create on Trello. Trello is an online tool for managing projects and personal tasks that is extremely popular and can be used for many needs besides project management. On Trello we create a new board, name it MyCRM, and there we create several columns which we will need to manage future orders. So we add a column for new orders, then there go confirmed, in progress, shipped, and cancelled. This is just a sample, so we encourage you to create your own set of stages that fits your business process. So our future orders will proceed through this pipeline we created from left to right. Once the orders get in the first column, it can be moved to the other ones depending on the stage it is in. When a customer makes an order on our store, we want it to be placed in our CRM immediately. To do that, we'll need Integromat, an intermediate service that makes software automation. On the Integromat website, we go to Scenarios, then we click on Create New, then we choose Trello and choose Webhooks. The first thing we need to do is add a webhook to catch it later. We choose Custom Webhook, then we click on Add, we enter the name, Spread Simple Webhook, and we save it. Now we can see the URL which we will need to copy and then we use it in our settings, pasting it into Webhook's URL field. Then we save changes and republish our website. 
Now we go back to Integromat to catch the webhook we created. For that we need to get a test request. So we go to our store and we place several items in the cart. Then we can change the quantity and then we fill in the form. We enter a name, a telephone number, email address and so on. That being done, we click on the checkout button. Now Integromat needs to catch our request and it's done! It means that at this place the service explored and gained the data structure which came from our website. And that's what we are going to use. The webhook is an entry point. Our task now is to create a Trello card. So we drag and create a Trello module. Our module is called Create a Card. We've already made a connection with the webhook, so now we need to do the same with Trello. To do that, we click on Add, we see the name My Trello Connection, which is fine for us, and now we need to build the connection between Spread Simple Trello account and Integromat. We push Allow, and then we choose My Trello Connection. As you remember, we've created the board My CRM. Now we select this board in Board drop-down, then we define on which list our new card will be put. Also, we can choose label mapping or the assignment, but we'll get back to this later. Now is the most interesting part. We need to give a name and description for our card. We'll do that using the data we received from the webhook. There it is. So, for the name we choose Order ID, then we enter a dash and we add client name. That can be enough, but we also want to add client email. Now let's configure the description field. Here in Trello, Markdown is available and it will come in handy to create rich content for this field. Let's start with order number. There we enter order ID. Then we can add client's name, client email, phone and message. Then we insert a dash. After that, we need to specify the cart content, which means the exact items chosen by our customer. There is a special field for that, named cart items text. So we add it into description and later all the information about the items will be shown here as a text. And in the end we can add total for the total amount. Let's check what we have. So we made a Trello connection, we selected the board for it, the list for cards to get in, we configured the name and the description. Everything looks fine, so we click OK, then save. And now we need to test how it's all working. So let's give it a name, something like my CRM order collection. And when it's saved, we turn it on. We can choose a certain schedule for order collection. There are various options, as you can see. We choose immediately to get a new card instantly as a webhook appears. And our script is done and ready to use. Let's try it out. First we ensure that there are no cards in the board right now and we go back to our store to make a new order. Here we pick several items, add more of this one and then we fill in the form again. After the form is ready, we press checkout and let's see. Ta-da! The order is here. Let's check the content. Here's order ID, a unique identifier. Also, there is information about the person who ordered. We see the card content, the items ordered and the total amount. Basically, that can be enough for managing your orders, but let's see what else we can do here. It could be useful to have several predefined checklists to manage an order. For example, 
call to the customer, check the inventory, print the shipping label, ship. Of course, it can be challenging to make this list every single time the order arrives. So let's convert this card to a template to replicate our checklist automatically. We name it Order Template and we place it in a new service column named Info. So, how to use it? We want our new cards to have this checklist from the beginning. By the way, we can add a certain labeling as well, for example, this one, or some other information if necessary. All that will be copied from this template. To see it working, we are going to modify our workflow a little bit. Here are steps. In advanced settings, we go to the copy card then pick Select, choose my CRM for the board and choose Order Template from the Info column. Also, it could be great to place the image of the first item, as there can be more than one in the order, on the card and use it for the order cover. It can be done by adding another module named Add an Attachment. To do that, we need to add an attachment, which is an image to our card template. Here's how we are going to do that. For card ID, we choose card ID from the second step. Then we select URL for the attachment type. In the URL field, we are going to use this formula. From cart items for the first element, we pick property name image. The attachment name can be random, but we name it first item image. Okay, it seems alright, so let's check how it works. So we go to the store, make an order, and once again fill the form in. Then we click Checkout. Great! Now we see a new order with a certain order ID, customer's name and email for the title. We see also the picture, the order content and the checklist. Now this order can be moved through the different stages in the pipeline in CRM we created. As you can see, this system is very flexible. We used these certain columns and tasks just as an example, and you can configure your own CRM any way you need it to be. You can add as many stages as you want, as your business requires, and edit or improve them later. Trello allows you to set the due date to the cards, and that can be quite helpful to make sure the orders are processed in time. So why don't we take the time the order was made and automatically add one more day to that date? In the due date field, we can choose today or now and add one more day. This way we give 24 hours to process the order and if the time runs out, we'll be able to see it clearly. To apply that, we go to Trello create a cart module, then we choose date and time tab in the due date field. We'll need the formula named add days. As we can see in the hint, the first argument should be the date itself and the second one is the number of the days to add. So we add one. That's it. We click OK, then save and test again. We repeat all the steps on the store website and in a few seconds we can see a new order with a due date which is tomorrow, labeled due soon. We can change the due date after order confirmation with the customer for example, the order can be delivered later. Another great thing about Trello as CRM 
is that we can assign certain members of our team to be responsible for the order processing. And we can create a labeling system. For example, an urgent order can be marked as red, and like this, all the labels can be applied. Also, we can add attachments in case there are some kind of documents required for order processing. All of that is possible here. We can subscribe to order changes to follow the process. There are a lot of filtering options. For example, we can look only for urgent orders or only for the ones we are assigned to, or the ones which are due soon and so on. Another small life hack for Trello. If you add a party emoji to the column name, a fancy animation will be played when you drag a card to this column. Ta-da! All that is a basic example of possible automation process. Using Integromat, you can easily collect your orders in a Google Sheet. For example, we can add another module, one of the plenty like Google Sheets or Airtable, whatever you like. We can send emails via one of multiple email services, including a built-in email service. For instance, right after the order is made, a confirmation email with additional instructions can be sent to the customers, and so on. As you can see, with all the options available, the sky is the limit. We hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching.